Greetings, my friends. Don't believe the hype that says that Russia has removed her troops from Syria. She's removed some troops, but she has a basis and the groundwork to do whatever she needs to do, and she still has a strong force there. <coughs> that said, it ties into today's uh, video. Is this the hook that will that God will put in the mouth of Gog, Putin of Russia, to draw him into the Gog Magog war with Israel? Israel has major, major, major natural and natural gas and oil uh, deposits that she has discovered. She has huge contracts already pre-drawn up with Russia and other countries, but Russia especially, to give to sell her natural gas and her oil. Now, Israel's Supreme Court came out and nixed it. They nixed the whole deal and said that it's not going to be done. They're putting a freeze on everything. Now, Putin craves natural gas and oil. He does not like to be uh, backed out on when you have a deal. And seeing he's not getting this oil and gas that he craves and needs, will this be enough to draw him right across the border and to attack Israel? It's very possible, my friends. I've told you all along that I'm convinced that the oil and natural gas in Israel will be the hook that God puts in the mouth of Gog, Putin, of Magog, Russia, and draws them down to their doom. We are so close to Harpazo, catching away, rapture, whatever you want to call it. It's imminent. And those who are not ready are about to be left behind. For seven pure hell years of hell on earth, where about two-thirds of all humans will die the most grotesque, awful, terrible, horrific deaths possible. And sadly, most Christians <coughs> are going to be left behind along with the unsaved because they refuse to repent the way Scripture says at least 250 different Scripture says you have to. It's terrible. Your only hope is Jesus Christ. If you've never been saved or you're backslidden, pray the prayer, do the six steps I have in the box below the video because no one's guaranteed any more time in your life. So let me to pray for you. Contact me. I'll pray for you every day. Christians, our job is to witness and pray for the lost night and day. If you're not doing it, do it now. And if you are, great. And look up. Our redemption draweth nigh. We fly soon. Help me out by sharing this video with, and every video that I do with everybody you can because I am being relentlessly censored across social media, especially YouTube and Facebook. You guys take care of yourselves and have a blessed day.